Really good. They came to they came to training camp to work. Like they they talked about having high expectations and all that, which I'm all for high expectations, but I'm more about uh, living it than talking about it. And they've come to work. Um, really a no nonsense attitude. I think they're excited. You know, we're excited to see where we are. You know, everybody's optimistic heading into the regular season, but you don't know where you are until you play real games and. Uh, Toronto's going to be a, a tough first test, but I know we're excited about it. Still big expectations for you guys, but very big turnover in the receiving court and in the secondary. Let's start yeah. on defense. And you potentially are going to start four different players from a year ago, and just the concerns or excitement that come with that. Yeah, both. We, we think we need to be better than last year. We really liked our football team last year, and we thought we were good, but we, need, we know we need to improve if we want to get to the ultimate goal. And there's going to be a mix in both those groups. So I think it's a little more tolerable when with the receivers and the DBs. If you, it's not just a wholesale change, it's the same coaches, um, a lot of the same terminology, and you're mixing them in with people that have been here. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about it. But like I said, we got to see it in action for real. Rick, um, Vernon is so key to you guys. It's weird to say a guy finding, finding his own but I think last year we saw the best of Brandon Allen, how much better he can be. What do you expect from him this year? I just think it, I think it's just such a big help. I know for any of us, but especially a quarterback, to have a you know similar terminology, playbook, coaches, um, a lot of the same players around him. There'll be some new ones, but a lot of them are the are the same as far as the O line and uh, receivers, and then William Stanback, all that stuff are people he's familiar with. So um, I, th I just think it's good when you can kind of get settled into a groove and. Uh, um, you know, we're hoping that pays off. It seems like he's really done his best to allow himself to become a leader, not forcing it upon himself. Yeah. Almost through for 5,000 yards. Do you think that's doable this year? Yeah. We, we talked about today is that we're, we're running a marathon, not a sprint, is what I told them. And I said, let's do one day, one game at a time. And we can have all these thoughts and things for this season, which is exciting. Uh, but at the same time, I said, we're just, let's do Toronto. Um, you know, Sunday night in Toronto and try to find a way to beat these guys. We need to try to find a way to win in Toronto. We haven't done that the last couple of years, so it's going to be a big uh, challenge for us, but I you know our guys are excited about it. What about Toronto and just the changes there starting a quarterback? Yeah, I was watching. We were watching their preseason film, and um, they definitely have some changes, but, man, they look good. They got some They got some athletes. You watch them play the Hamilton game, and there's no question they got some guys, and they're going to be, uh, they're going to be tough to handle in many areas, so... Um, you know, that's the name of the game in pro sports and in the CFL is there's always going to be some change. And uh, But I think they, you know, again, they're dealing with largely the same coaching staff and they have a core group of guys there that were there last year. So we'll have our hands full. A receiver with Fulgham, while he's new to this game, he's got some NFL miles on him. Yeah. Does that matter that he's played actual professional football games? In I, I think so. You know, there's, there's always the curve of, learning how to play the CFL game of, you know, utilizing the waggle and the motion and just the all the nuances of 12-man football. But there's no question that guys that have been through professional football and what it's like to not be in college where, you know, you're not always taken care of all the time. You're you're doing a job and you're you got to show up and and do it. So uh, that 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 part of it's uh, invaluable, I think. Last one for me, uh, Covington, um, you know, you get NFL players that come to this league all the time and you get attitude issues and things like that. For a guy that spent nine years there, probably financially, he didn't need to come here. What's his attitude been like? He's been great. We didn't we didn't talk him into coming here. In fact, I wanted to give him extra time to think it over. We didn't want to say, you know, come on, let's do it. Uh, we wanted to make sure he was in it for the right reasons. And he's been great the whole time. We just wanted to make sure he took all the time that he had... Uh, his life the way he wanted it and that he was doing this all for the right reasons and he is and he's been he's been really good and you know if he if he's uh, he plays in the regular season like he did in in training camp in the second preseason game he's going to be a big help to us rick final one for me um i know there's the there's always the buzz to start the season but is there an added on buzz yeah and we know the great cup you're gonna have close to a sell it it's awesome i think i think uh um not only for the bc lions but for the cfl it's great you know, it's not easy to get 55,000 or whatever is going to be there to, to a game. So, um, like I said, that's part of the reason we focus on Toronto. And but can it's going to it's going to be great. I've been in that stadium before when it's been full on the on the opposing team and just the atmosphere and how loud it is and how good the, um, you know, Vancouver sports fans are. I'm, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait.